From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Friday, October 4th, 2013. In our update this time, when in Fairbanks, while in Fairbanks rather, on September 27th, Governor Sean Parnell said the state of Alaska is reviewing the case of the men known as the Fairbanks Four. The four were convicted of killing 15-year-old John Hartman 15 years ago. Yesterday, the State Department of Law issued a, a statement saying that it's confident that the convictions of the four will stand. The Alaska Innocence Project claims another person confessed. The Law Department says it won't have any further comments until state troopers finish their investigation. Trial is set for the beginning of November for a man accused of second-degree murder. Anthony Wayne Charleston is charged with shooting 59-year-old David Shy to death on March 12th. Court records say Charleston apparently angered over a verbal exchange between Shy and a woman identified as Carol Halley confronted Shy. Charleston told authorities that in the midst of that confrontation, Shy assaulted him. He says he then pulled a 45 caliber handgun from his pocket and shot David Shy twice. On a lighter note, a gala affair will be held tonight, 6 p.m. at the Westmark. Alieska Pipeline Service Company presents this ninth annual celebration of survivorship education and early detection to benefit the Breast Cancer Detection Center. The evening includes a silent auction, semi-formal dinner, and guest speakers. You can get ticket information at 479-3909. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, mostly cloudy, patchy morning fog, occasional sprinkles or flurries in the morning, becoming isolated rain showers afternoon, highs in the lower to mid 30s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, occasional sprinkles or flurries after midnight, lows in the mid to upper 20s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, patchy morning fog, highs in the mid 40s. Extended outlook, mostly clear Saturday, clouds return Sunday on into next week, highs mostly in the 40s, lows still around 30, and the Aurora forecast is quiet. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.